What is up guys, Real Touch GML here, and today I do not have a tutorial, but I have this game that I am showcasing that I made in about an hour. Um, I've just made the basic stuff for it and have not really uh, <clears throat> done a, a whole lot. So, what it is, is it's a program where you can create your own game. Um, yeah, so you can create your own game. So um, you have like the play and pause button here. This is uh, how you test your game. Uh, on the right here, you have objects, BKG, which is background, sounds, scripts, save, load, and help. And save, load, and help are kind of, uh, you kind of know what they are. And um, uh, yeah, so you save and you load, and that's the help if you need help. So what I've really focused on is the objects and the scripts to have. I have not really gone into the beat, uh, background yet or the sound so you get an error when you click on it. So I haven't really done that yet, but I'm going to go ahead and begin. So in your, if you click objects, you see this uh, box comes up and you have this uh, kind of back and forth dude. That's an animation showing that he will point both ways. You have a ball, and you have a boxy, squiggly face dude, and then you have blocks down here. Now this whole thing is going to be filled up, like this row will be with players, this row will be with different kind of blocks, this row will be, will, will be with like interactive things, and and more. Um, so if we exit this out here. So you have that, and also scripts, and this is how you program your player what your players to do so if I go ahead and just pick this guy here and I click down you'll notice he is white and that is because you can colorize him so I'm just gonna pick like a light green here and as you can see he's colorized now if we go ahead and play you notice you can only move back and forth this isn't a one-dimensional um, movement so in order to change that, we would um, need to do a script. But let's go ahead and let's put down some blocks. So put down that block and make it yellow. We'll just put down one block now. And you can always right click it to change the color. Now, but if you say you didn't, oh, say you did not want, um, say you just wanted it gone, you didn't want to delete. You hold Shift and right click, and that would delete it. So. Now for the blocks also, um, if you want a lot of blocks, you know, you don't want to keep going back in the objects tab and keep going. So if you select it and you hold control, just press OK, it'll keep coming back up. So you can add more. Now as you can see, they're, they're all black. And I'm just going to change the last one to, we'll say yellow, and that changes all of them. So we run the game again, nothing really happens, he's still in the one dimensional movement. But if we go to scripts, and we type in player, this lets us know that we're dealing with the player. So now it says enter player function here, if we do gravity, to equal true, and now we play, as you can see, gravity is set to our player and he can jump. So if we go back to scripts and we go ahead and set gravity to false and we bring in the ball object here and we'll just make it blue and we delete that guy as you can see he's back in the one dimensional but now what we can do is if we go back to scripts we can type in player direction equals all now this means he can move in all the directions now. Like so. Now I will be making so that you can put in health bars and such. And for the script function you would just type in like health bar and stuff. And set a value to that. Um, yep. So that's pretty much really all I have right now. Uh... Again, this took me about an hour to do, so I hope to keep going with it. Tell me what you guys think, if you like it or not, and um, 
I should keep going with it. So, yeah. Also, one other thing, um, say you put direction equal all, you can't set a gravity either. Um, that would just make it go back to the one dimensional plane. So, you would have to put direction equal 2D, and then the gravity would set in. But, yeah, tell me what you guys think, and uh, I'll probably release a download link in my next video of the progress and yeah go ahead and like my videos if you or liked the like the video if you liked it and go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials go check out my other tutorials and yeah i will see you guys next time Ch -ch -ch.